Hey Aries, Mariah here. I'm going to go ahead and get into your reading. Hopefully all of you guys are having a very beautiful holiday and enjoying yourself. And if you are alone for the holidays, know that I love you and I know it can be a very difficult time. So I send you so much peace, love, and solace during this time period. So let's look into the next faded event for you and when that will happen. All right. So for my Aries, tell me about their next faded event and when it will happen. my Aries. Also too, keep in mind this is a general reading, so if you want to know about your own personal faded event, definitely click on the link in the description box below and I can take a look into that for you. Wow. Okay. So beautiful. So we have a personal issue reaches its resolution and don't let pride get in your way. Full moon in Cancer and full moon in Leo. So this is an interesting energy here. So there's something that's coming up, a faded event that will create some form of resolution that is meant to happen, whether this is in finances, your home life, family, love, the workspace. Something is finally coming to a close or something is finally entering that will create a resolution. However, don't let pride get in your way. All right. You may end up potentially, potentially, <laughs> you may end up potentially um, getting in the way of this faded event coming in for you, which means this can show a few different ways. The fated event, what's happened, meant to happen to you, what's meant to be fate for you, will happen. That's something you can't control, but what you can control is your free will with how you handle that. And you may end up, if you will, getting in the way of whatever this is supposed to happen. So let's look into this. Let's see the times on this, and I'll be back really quick. Okay, so looking at the dates for this, full moon in Cancer will begin on January 17th, and full moon in Leo will begin on February 16th. So this is going to happen fairly quick. This event is going to come in fairly quick for you. Almost about a month, a month span of events that will occur or a specific event that will change the trajectory or the course of your life. So pretty big here, Aries, you know, because I just did cancer and they had about a four to five month window. No, about a five month window. You only have a one month window here for this event. So just make sure that you don't get in your way of whatever this is that is trying to provide a resolution for you. So let's see even further. Tell me about this. Tell me about Aries next faded event spirit. Ooh, we got two. Okay, I think you're the first one with two as well. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Okay, Aries, this is kind of cool. I'm not going to lie. I actually like your faded event. Not, not going to lie. So we have opportunities and achievement here, right? So for opportunities, an important offer will be made. Be prepared and dress to impress. Achievement, enjoy the limelight. You've earned it. Although on the family front, someone's health could cause some secret worries and sleepless nights. Okay. All right, so I'm going to tell you exactly what I felt putting down this achievement card. Um, I'm just going to get this out the way. This may just be for one specific Aries. But if you are dealing with a family member or even yourself where you're dealing with health issues or health concerns, because we have a personal issue reaches resolution, I can't tell you not to worry. I can't tell you not to be in your head with don't let pride get in your way, even though pride is different than worry. But it's still the instance of getting in your own way. Don't allow your worries and stress to get in your own way. Again, I know that's going to be very difficult depending on the type of health condition or matter at hand. But with a personal issue reaches resolution, whoever this is, whether it's you or somebody else, it seems like their health will improve. It could even just be for the time being. Doesn't mean it's going to be that they're going to be good for the rest of their life. It could just be for the time being, you know, there's some upswing in, on the health front. Now, mind you, I am not a physician. Always check with your doctor or 
you know, the doctor of your family member just to make sure everything's okay there, but I'm just getting this energy. For everyone else, this is big. I mean, take note. This is big again. January 17th through February 16th. There is going to be a new opportunity made for you. This feels like finances, career, or whether there is a certain endeavor that you got going on, whether you like writing books and you want to now be published on Amazon or you're a musician or artist or you're starting your own business up. There's an opportunity afoot, which will change your life. So if you've been, you know, kind of betting on starting that project or getting that business open or started or running or you know, taking your ideas and putting it out on front street and, and showcasing yourself for the world, even if it is on the other terms of becoming a YouTuber or a social media influencer, TikTok star, I don't know what you want to do. <laughs> I mean, it's up to you. But whatever your goal or dream is here, there is an opportunity for growth and expansion and for you to be recognized, for you to receive accolades and for you to change your lifestyle and life because of this opportunity that you want to pursue. But again, with don't let pride get in your way. I don't know. I'm not getting it necessarily as pride. I'm going to just be so honest with you. I don't think it's necessarily a prideful thing. It's almost a sense of like self-sabotage. That's what I'm getting. Like there's a sense of self-sabotage here of, you know, maybe this is beneath me or maybe I'm too good for this. Or on the flip side of that, what if I'm not good enough? Or what if, you know, people don't buy my products? Or what if my items don't sell? Or what if that book can't get published on Amazon? Or, you know, I only have one person that's into my item, you know, my book or my music. Whatever this is, I'm getting more self-doubt and self-sabotage. And that's you getting in your way. Because, again, there's an opportunity that will open up to change your life. For you to be in the limelight. You've worked hard for this. And even if this is in the career sector, whether you know you work for an employer, there is an opportunity to elevate. And I'm still just getting the sense of you know that you're the best candidate on the inside. You if you were to look at a spreadsheet of your work performance and things of that nature, you feel like, you know what, this would be a good position for me to elevate to this uh portion of the company, or it would be a good decision to transition over to this new company. But what if they don't hire me? What if they choose a different candidate or what if even though I'm qualified or I got these certain skill sets there's somebody else that has more skill sets than me or on the flip side what if I'm selling myself short they're offering me this position but I feel like I deserve this position instead you know should I take this position because it's being offered or should I hold off and go to this better there's something here that you're getting in your way uh, Aries and I don't know what this is for you but don't get in your way it's self-sabotage because whatever this specific opportunity is, it will change your life. Whether you've been struggling with finances, you know, we all got that consumer debt, student loans, all that stuff. Not all of us, but a, a large portion, right? Large portion of us got some form of debt. You know, we may have some debt we want to clear up. We may want to buy that new home. We may, may want to make that new move to a different state or a different country. And there's an opportunity on the work front or the work sector that will allow us to do so, whether it is you know, getting that increase in finances, which will allow us to pursue other dreams elsewhere, or whether it is, you know, pursuing our business ideas or getting on that, you know, social media platform and becoming like a YouTuber or some form of social media influencer, whether it is publishing that book or putting out that new music or album or CD that you want to release. The opportunity is there to change your life. That opportunity is the vessel. That opportunity is the funnel right but the actual faded event not only is in that opportunity but the outcomes that will uh, sprout from that that's meant to change your life so let's keep going Aries Tell me about the next faded event in Aries. I, and mind you, this is coming up very soon where you'll start to see an opportunity for this to really play out. And it's up to you to take it or not or get in your own way. For my Aries, tell me about their next. A man holding a heart. I love this. Oh, Aries. And I literally have no Aries, but my seven house is ruled by Aries. Um, that's the only thing, but I don't feel it at all in my personality. 
But I wish I was an Aries right now. <laughs> and the reason why I say that, because we have man holding a heart. This is so beautiful. And I, again, I'm not getting your actual fated event in the context of romance. If it fits that way, then take it. But I'm just going to tell you how I personally feel it off of my energy and off the of spirit. This is you, man holding a heart. Whether you're a man or a woman, doesn't matter. But there is something that you really feel passionate about, that you do love, that you have either been working on tirelessly and you want to see something come from it, or even the love of oneself in the belief that I can achieve what it is that I want, but then still having that self-doubt, unfortunately, right? What is it that you truly love? Honestly, what is it that you truly love in this context? Is it writing books? Is it starting up that business that you feel so passionate about? Is it, you know, um, creating content on YouTube that can help change and transpire the world or at least the community that you reach? Is it being able to have a new sense of financial stability within whatever company that you work for or that you want to work for? So that way, not only you can change your life and your stability and your lifestyle, but you can help do that for your children or your children's children or the family that you want to create one day. What is it that's close to the heart and that you feel passionate about? And mind you, Leo is ruled by the heart. So this is a, a strong Leo driven energy here. Some of you may have Leo in your chart. What is it from the heart space that feels right? And that's also what a, a spirit is asking you not to get in your own way. But when this opportunity comes up, an opportunity that can change the trajectory in the course of your life, go towards that opportunity from the space of your heart, not the space of self-doubt, not the space of self-imprisonment, not the space of self-uncertainty. Be very decisive towards where you want to go, but go from it with love, knowing that, you know what, this opportunity wouldn't have arose if it wasn't meant for me. Why am I holding myself back? Why am I getting in my own way? And go for it, you know? So let's keep going. This is just, I'm loving this for you, Aries. Tell me about Aries. Next, faded event spirit. Last shuffle here. Okay, we got two for you. Freedom. Solitude. Woo! Okay. Aries. If you were, okay, let me do a little exercise with you really quick, okay? <laughs> I just feel like I got to, you know, bear with me, okay? Your family member here, just, just bear with me. If you were to sit and think, right? Hopefully you were sitting while watching this. <laughs> but if you were to think, what would it feel like? And I mean, feel it from the pit of the soul. What would it truly feel like for you, Aries, to have not only the freedom, not financially, in your career, in your passions, but to have the freedom to live the life that it is that you truly desire and that you want. And knowing that you're on the precipice of receiving it, all you have to do is say yes to that opportunity. All you have to do is say yes to that chance. How would it feel to now walk through that portal of being able to live in your own truth and freedom of living the life and lifestyle that you want. Based off just a simple yes, I'm gonna take up this opportunity. I'm gonna go for it. How would that feel? How does it, when you look, close your eyes, what does that life feel like? What are the scents you smell? What are the things surrounding you? What are the things that you can afford? What are the things that you're doing on a daily basis because of that opportunity you said yes to? And I will tell you this, if it feels so sweet, why get in your own way? Why get in your own way here, Aries? So solitude being here, there is going to be some time for you to think. During this time period, though, between, I believe it was January 17th through February 16th, there, you, you're going to have to be in decisive mode. Prior to that, you got some time to think. 
You don't have much much time though, because January around the corner. <laughs> Jerry's riding the corner. You don't have much time, but you got a little time to think. But really embrace that energy. And what does that feel like? Honestly. And if it feels so sweet and so good and so heavenly, why even get in your own way? And I mean that. Why? So that's what spirit is kind of asking of you here, looking at this energy. So let's, let's keep going. Tell me about Aries next faded event spirit. Power and intention, absolutely. Power and intention being here. This is going forward with power and intention, knowing, you know what, I may not have all the answers, I may not know how this is going to play out, and that, this card always reminds me of your energy anyway, I may not know how this is going to play out, I don't know how this is going to go for me, I don't know if this fully is the best decision, you can never know until you're into that position or you're into that opportunity, but you know what, I know my intention is this, this is the outcome that I'm wanting, this is the result that I'm looking for, and I know if I were to take this opportunity, more likely than not, I will probably yield the results that I'm looking for. And Spirit is saying, don't hesitate and don't doubt yourself. Strengthen the mind. Strengthen the will. And know that you have that willpower to go towards this with that power and intention. So tell me more, Spirit. Aries next faded event. All right. So we have mask. The biggest thing that's standing out to me on this card is hidden potential and the unknown. Also acting. You know that saying, fake it till you make it. <laughs> I'm kind of getting that energy here, uh, Aries. Even if you feel a little wavering in your energy, you may not feel certain or short. Look, you might have to fake it till you make it, all right? <laughs> I'm gonna be honest with you. You might, for the ones that really struggle with, you know, with this energy, you really may have to fake it till you make it. You know, it's walking by faith and not by sight. And I always go into the image of walking in a basement, walking downstairs to a basement. All the lights are off. You don't know what's, what's where, what's going on in the basement, and you're scared because the boogeyman's going to get you. But you're walking, eyes closed, trying to hurry up and grab what you need to grab out the basement. Your hands are just in front of you trying to feel all over the place so you don't uh, run into anything or bump into anything. It's kind of like that, you know, you got to close your eyes and if you got to feel out and try to walk your way through it to go and grab what it is that you want, you got to, but you just have to move. And there's a lot of hidden potential here. So whatever this opportunity, this achievement, because again, it's meant for you. So you're going to be in a limelight. You are, you've earned it. You've worked very hard for this. This was fated to happen for you, Aries. So don't deny the opportunity that fate is bringing for you. There's so much potential in you. There's so much potential that hasn't even been tapped into. There's so much, there's so much achievement that you have to accomplish here. And there's so much adoration that I'm getting, whether it is through you know, an employer that will hire you or promote you or give you that salary increase or raise, whether it is taking that business idea and turning it into an actual business, or, you know, if you are self-independent and you want to start to be a, a creator, there's a lot of potential there for you to do so. So tap into it. So let's go ahead and get into the last card here for you, Aries, for my Aries. What do they need to know about their next faded event? And mind you, when I say faded event, I don't mean this lightly. I mean this will change the course of your life. And, I, and again, I, I know we can throw buzzwords around here on YouTube in the tarot community. But when I say it changes the trajectory of your life, the life you know that exists today will not exist tomorrow. Last shuffle here for my Aries. For my Aries. Ooh, way too many. Um. 
Queen of Swords. Brilliant, self-reliant, insightful, humorous. You know exactly what to do, the benefit of experience. A time for your career rather than relationships. Again, that's why I was saying, even with this man holding a heart, I didn't get romantic vibes here. This is all about you and your career and your pursuits. The pursuit of happiness. Will Smith. <laughs> Let me stop being goofy. See, this is what I'm talking about, though. This is very decisive, very sharp, very analytical. The Queen of Swords is very insightful, and she's very articulate. She's very brilliant, but she also knows what it is that needs to be done, and she's willing to sacrifice what needs to be sacrificed in order to achieve the bigger picture, the higher outcome, the end goal. And that's what's being asked of you. Not necessarily sacrifice. I'm not getting that energy here. But what it is being asked of you is to be very sharp in regards to this opportunity that's coming up that will provide so much achievement, not only financially, but on a personal level with your success. But you have to be sharp about this. Don't get in your own way, Aries. I love you. You be safe. You have a very merry, beautiful, happy holiday. And I'll catch you guys on the next one.